Alright. All these exercises you'll do for 30 seconds to 1 minute. Or if you're feeling real good, you can go as long as you can hold it for extra burn. Alright. Here's the first one. First one you can do straight up. You don't want to be dipped down here. And you don't want to be up. Flat. Hold for 30 over to a minute. And then the next one. So you can pick you can pick these at the end of your ab workout. You can take like two of these and add them in at the end. So the next one. You can stay stable. Alright, that's the second one. And the third one, we got, you gotta use your legs here. So, see up here, you're gonna come up all the way over. So, I'll give you the front angle. Come up as far as you can. Don't let your toes touch the floor up here. Bring them out. Like ice climbers. All right. And the next one, you're gonna want like a yoga mat, something good for your elbows. You're gonna be up. Down to the elbows, back up, down, back up, down, back up, and make sure you're alternating hands. So, down left, right, up left, right, down right, left, up right, left. And see how stable I am? No dips. And you got the side planks. And that's where you'll just be here. On the side, feet, feet will just be sitting on top of each other, arm up in the air, just gonna hold it steady, that's one, switch sides at the end of the set, then another one, you can dip up, get some movement, like this, for a little extra burn, this one you can mix in with a little bit of push up action. You're up steady, go down slow, and hold it at the bottom. See my chest is about two, three inches off the floor. I'm just gonna hold it there for about 10 seconds. Come back up, go down slow, 10 seconds. I'll do about three to four reps, unless you're feeling real good. It's a good one to work your hamstrings. So these are your hamstrings, these are your quads. You're doing all the squat stuff, you're getting your quads done here. So we gotta balance it here, otherwise it can cause, cause you to start arching. The muscles will start pulling forward. You start arching, or if you get too strong in the hands, you might arch this way a little bit. So you wanna try to stay balanced. So on the days that you do squats, or anything involving the quad, you wanna do something hamstring. So. I'm sure, I'm sure the person there can give you a couple exercises, but this is a good one I like to do. So you're gonna be up like a crab walk. You wanna keep your hips up, not like this, stay like this. Get one leg at a time, straight out, coming down, up, down, up. You get about 20, 25 reps. And you'll start feeling it right in here in the hamstrings. So you want to do a couple sets of that, two, three sets, maybe 25, 15, 10, go down like that. Make sure you're switching legs. And if you're feeling real good about your plank, get yourself some good grip for your for your feet. You can go starting the plank. Then you're going to move your arms out past your head and hold the plank. It's going to give you the extended plank. That's killer. 
Then you're gonna get a Bosu ball. One of those big, big balls. You're gonna find a wall that has maybe a little thing sticking out of it. And you can set your feet under there and hold yourself up. Get on the ball. Arms over the chest. You're gonna go down and up. You can do back raises, back extensions on the ball. I don't have the ball here right now. But you're gonna have the ball right here. Then you're gonna go down and then lift yourself up all with your lower back. So this one with the ball it takes a lot of stress off. There's other back extensions a little harder. That's a good one to start with.